You know, I don't really say a lot of times I'm lucky, but I really am. And it's all happening here in Freehold, New Jersey for 80s WrestleCon number two. Because right next to me is one of the Glow Originals. Yeah. Hollywood Vine, ladies and gentlemen, here on the High Spot Podcast, presented by Bodyslam.net. Hollywood, thank you so much for a few minutes of your time. It's greatly appreciated. I need to ask, first sure. and foremost, I know you get asked this a lot, and I apologize, but how are you enjoying the festivities? How are you, how are you enjoying your day? How are you? Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm enjoying my day. First of all, this is our second time at 80s Wrestling Con. Um, in like six months, so this is really cool. The first one was in April. Were you here in April? No, this is our first time here. Awesome, so cool. So this is the second time, and I think it's wonderful. And as you can see, all the fans are here. They only do one day, so it's just one day in and out. But I'm very humbled and honored to uh, meet our friends, our fans here, that have been fans for a long time. The cool thing with the Glow Netflix, that you might ask me about, probably. Yes. Um, these people um, have been fans from day one, and they're actually loving the Glow Netflix. So thank goodness that the Glow Netflix has brought back the resurgence for us. Um, we do a lot of cons. This one, Rhode Island, LA Comic Con, a few more, Hollywood show. So what was your first initial reaction when you found out it was coming back and it was going to be on Netflix? What was your initial reaction when you heard the news? So what I always think is anything that promotes the brand is positive. Yes. You know, and uh, and for anybody who's not seen the show or has watched the show, it's loosely based on our show. They have to have a lot oh, of drama. One second. If you haven't watched the show, We're talking about what, what, are you, what are you doing? Yeah. Go on YouTube, go on any social media, find out the original. Because sometimes you can't... We have a Glow documentary. And the Glow documentary, I think, was inspired by Gingy Cohen, the producer of Orange is the New Black. And that's why they ended up doing that show because she saw this documentary. Yes, so guys, check out the documentary and yep. make sure Absolutely. you catch up on it because it's it's a big history in the world of professional wrestling, guys. And it doesn't get the credit sometimes it deserves. No, it doesn't. But thank goodness, like I said, it's bringing back the brand for Glow. So anything that brings that back for us is a positive. Talk about when you were originally approached by the idea of Glow, when they first approached you. What, 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 what was that like? That's I mean, a the, long story, but... Um, so, I got time. I ain't so, going anywhere. That's fine. So, um, 1985, I get a um, message on my voicemail that says you have an audition for a rep, no, for a sports show. They didn't tell me what it was, okay. so I had no idea. Um, I go down there, David McLean standing up there, and he's telling all the girls this show is about women's wrestling and I didn't know anything about women's wrestling I knew other sports but not that one yeah. so those who were interested in learning and training for wrestling could come down to a gym Munda Guerrero was their training they needed 12 girls to do a pilot they started weeding out everybody I was one of the 12 the Royal Hawaiian who is also here with me today was another of the 12 so we learned, we trained with Mondo, we did a pilot, we sold it in 1986, we quit our jobs and we moved to Vegas and we have been in this business ever since. And what a, what a ride it's been, it For seems me, like. it's been one hell of a ride. At what point would you say in your career, because careers go up and down, yeah. but at what point would you say that you started realizing the significance of the impact it had? Because while you're doing it, you probably don't know, no, is this a job? You're doing it because you know you want to do a good job. But at what point did you start realizing the impact it had? So that's a good question, because we did not have the show on in Las Vegas. They would not put it on, so we didn't know if we were popular or what. When we started touring, and people started recognizing us and we started doing all the talk shows. That's when the impact came. And then of course, as quickly as we came above, we were done. So we did four seasons and we were done. Um, so the recognition after that was hardly anything until that Glow Netflix show hit and they did that documentary and then bam, we were back in the, um, in the uh, fans' eyes again. And we do Glow Cruises and Glow Meet and Greets and these and they're very fun. Well, you know, that added on now to the impact it had, but also when you look at the world of pressure wrestling now, a lot of people will say that's also a huge impact on the women's yes, revolution out is. there. And because now women are being looked at as not just as, as beneath them or, no. or, or low carders, they're, they're equal. They're they equal. are equal, and the women today are getting way more time in the ring. Um, we were the first to have 30 glow girls in a, ta in a uh, battle royal. We did that 30 years ago. See what I'm saying? It's just rinse and repeat. So, you know what? I, I give kudos to all the ladies out there. They're tremendous athletes and they're fun to watch. That's why people love it, because you want entertainment, 
and it's fun. Wow. Sometimes it's sexy, sometimes it's ugly, sometimes it's mean, but it takes all of those things to make a great show. So kudos to the ladies that are here today. Yeah, you need that combination to make it entertaining, and that's what it is. Yes, sports well, entertainment. I would thank you so much. Awesome. Really appreciate thank it, guys. You for me. Make sure you follow her on all our social media, which will be down here at the bottom of the screen for you guys. That's right. Here in Fremont, New Jersey, I am done after this. This is so much exciting. Finally spoke to Hollywood Vine. I'm set. I'm done. Bye. Goodbye, Freehold. Take care. I bid you we'll all adieu.